Hello and welcome to the second episode of our Testing Tuesday series. Last week we talked all about behaviour driven development and what that means, so if you haven't seen that video please go back and watch that, there'll be a link down in the description. But this week we're talking all about exploratory testing and what exploratory testing is. So in essence exploratory testing is very flexible in the way you can do your testing, it involves very minimal test planning but maximum test execution and it can be broken down into four principles. The first of which is the fact you can run it in parallel with your test design and your test execution. So in a very um, traditional testing approach, you would do your planning, your designing, your executing, and then you get to deploy. However, with exploratory testing, it allows you to do your planning, designing, and your executing all in one session, and then you can report on those findings. The second principle of exploratory testing is the fact it is very specific, yet flexible. So, with manual testing, you would test the application as the script or the test case prescribed. Now, that's only going to be very linear and only test that specifically what the test case says to test. However, with exploratory testing, you can test the application as the end user would. It's a lot more flexible. The third principle of exploratory testing is the fact that it's aligned towards an investigation of potential opportunities. So what I mean by that is, let's give a real life example. If, I, if my end goal was to get to the nearest city, however, I'm taking a manual testing approach and the manual testing script says I can only use motorways to get to the city, to get to my goal. Now, that's gonna be very a narrow approach. I'd probably only be able to take one motorway to get to where my destination. However, with exploratory testing, I could say, well, actually, I can use A roads, I can use B roads, I can use motorways, I can use any road there is to get to my same destination, to my same goal. However, I might choose a different route rather than just the motorway, because I'm gonna find new places to explore, I'm gonna find new areas of the application that we didn't think of. And the fourth principle of exploratory testing is the fact, is the knowledge sharing that comes from it. So again, over here where we talked about you can do your planning, designing, and executing in one session. Once you do that over here and you report, you can then transfer that knowledge to anyone else in your team. So quite a lot of teams we use an exploratory testing tool to help them capture screenshots, to help uh, capture the keyboard strokes and the mouse clicks. Once you use the recording tool and it's going to generate a lovely report for you, you can upload that to your wiki or however you want to share it. And you can have members of your team ask questions against that. Those members might say, well, well, have I seen this before? Or why would someone do this? Or how would I have tested that differently? It allows for a much broader knowledge sharing and creating living documentation. The other advantage of perhaps using an exploratory testing tool is after you finish your recording session, you can actually generate that into an automated script to be used later. So thank you for watching this video on exploratory testing. If you have any opinions or questions, I'd love to hear from you. Otherwise, see you next time.